Karen Schelberger of BuffMother.com here. I'm here to just give you a brief tutorial of foundation number eight that is in my book, Hormonal Timing. We'll be doing a series of these uh, videos to help you understand my book a little bit better. So we uh, start section eight on page 80 and we're talking about nuts and bolts for action. Uh, in this section, I talk about how to utilize your natural hormonal cycles in conjunction with your workouts. Now, the great thing about hormonal timing is that you can use this program with any type of workout, whether you like to do DVDs, whether you like to go to CrossFit classes or group classes at your gym, or just simply go running and lift some weights every now and then. This system is uh, applicable to every single type of a workout program. There's certain keys that I lay out on page 80 that uh, we talk about on how to actually apply buffing to your buffing phase. Uh, your buffing phase is uh, the, the two week period of the program to where you wanna have high intensity, high quality workouts. Uh, this is the time that you go all out. You really push it hard, you try to increase your aerobic fitness, you try to increase your stamina, you just really uh, up the volume of the amount of workouts you're doing. Like if you had been working out three times a week for these two uh, weeks, you want to maybe up that to four or five times a week. Uh, and then uh, you, the main goal is to lose weight, but also to maintain your muscle mass while losing weight. So a vital component that I believe in that is making sure you're doing some resistance training, uh, whether it be two times a week, three or four, or even five times a week. Uh, just make sure you're getting some strength training in there. And this can be as simple as doing push-ups, uh, squats, pull-ups, basic big muscle moves that work your chest your legs and your back. Uh, that's the main focus, to just keep those big muscles. Uh, you can also do a lot of auxiliary, auxiliary lifts and things like that. This time uh, during buffing, it's just important to get moving and to keep those muscles engaging. Uh, it's, it, we're not really trying to build muscle, but we're trying to maintain muscle during this phase. Uh, and we also want to definitely integrate interval training. It's a great way to increase your fitness, uh, both aerobically and your lactic acid threshold and your uh, anaerobic uh, capacity also. So interval training is basically just you know doing something hard for one minute, taking it a little easier the next minute, doing it a little harder. It's exact, a great example of this is walking and then jogging, and walking and then jogging. And really the great thing about it is within 20 minutes you can have a really effective workout. Um, now the I have a hormonal timing pill that is called the buffing pill, and that pill really works in conjunction with every single goal you have during this phase, plus supporting your natural hormone production, which is the goal overall. Um, now, we want to, you know, just, I just want to touch on one of the items that I talk about on page 81 in this book, is there's a concept about youth beauty, beauty and buff beauty. Now, as you get older, you are not going to be able to have the same beauty that you did as, say, if you were 18 years old. That's called youth beauty. Um, it's where you're just naturally uh, without cellulite, you have a natural really good muscle structure, you can carry a little bit more body fat without looking uh, like out of shape and, and having pockets of fat here and there. Uh, you can really uh, just, you know, pull off not wearing makeup, all sorts of things. The youth beauty is something that is fleeting. Um, as you get older, you have to realize that that's not the same type of beauty that you're going to be able to have. But honestly, in the long run, I think buff beauty, which I can I term what I have, uh, is uh, better because we have a strong, healthy physique that has muscles on purpose. We're building muscles that also keeps us from aging and keeps our knees and our, our all of our other joints healthy in the process. So buff beauty is a little different looking than youth beauty and uh, you know some, some women get scared of muscles but honestly if you're always chasing after that youth beauty you can't get it again so you have to settle for maybe in your mind second best maybe some, some people think it's better but in mainstream media, sometimes uh, you know muscles get a bad rap on women. But honestly, truly, um, if you don't go to any extreme and if you follow this program, you're not going to have um, this, some of the crazy 
you know, side effects of just being too lean or being too, um, too bulky and things like that. So that's just um, page 81. I really, you know, want you to strive after building some muscle because muscle burns fat. So uh, in the next couple pages, I just talked about some basic concepts that you need to integrate in all of your training uh, that you must challenge yourself. Challenging equals change. Same thing with change equals challenge. And that's why in this program we have two phases. We have the buffing phase and the boosting phase. And we talked about some of the key components of the buffing phase. Uh, so let's go back and apply, uh, talk about how to apply boosting to your program. So after you have two weeks of buffing where you're really trying to lean up, you're trying to lose body fat, you have a lower caloric diet, then what you do is you switch to a different mindset a different type of working out, a different type of eating. You're trying to boost your metabolism. So on purpose, you're going to increase your caloric intake. Now, don't get scared about this because we want to keep your uh, calories high so that you can build some muscle. And this is the time of the month to where your body, uh, if you are having um, your period still uh, as a woman, your body naturally burns more calories this time of the month. That's why we get more hungry when we're PMSing. Uh, up to 500 calories a day. So if we go ahead and circumvent that by on purpose adding 500 calories to our meal plan and going after things that boost our metabolism like really going after weight training, uh, increasing uh, the, uh, the amount of weight training sessions we have in a week, uh, maybe going to uh, instead of a full body workout or a, or a, a two day split which is an upper body lower body split we'll go to like a three or four day split to really really you know push into those muscles and also lifting lower reps lower rep weight training means lifting heavier because you're still supposed to max out at that number of reps so instead of maybe lifting you know between 10 and 12 reps for uh, a set you want to get down to six to eight reps per set and you know, take a little more time in between, you know, really give a lot more focus to traditional weight training. And so you can integrate any of this like into say you take a body pump class. So during boosting, go ahead and you know up those weights and you know just slow your pace down a little bit and you know not try not to go for so many reps, but go for more quality reps. Okay, so that's an example of that. Uh, a couple more things that you, you might want to do is to um, it take a, a little bit of extra rest, you know, maybe during this phase instead of working five day out five days a week, you only work out three or four days a week. Uh, you know, just really listen to your body. Um, but you know, we still need to push through, and you need, still need to stay consistent and realize that it's just your hormones oftentimes making you frustrated. So, um, and the and the goal of that phase is not to lose weight; it's just to maintain the weight loss that you achieve during buffing. Okay, so now uh, actually that was uh, prior to foundation number eight. So foundation number eight starts on, on page 84 and I really lay out for you how to figure out where your cycle is, uh, what days, you know, just go on the calendar and figure out, okay, these two weeks I'm going to be buffing, these two weeks I'm going to be boosting, make mental notes of that, make that note in your journal, uh, Go make sure you keep this um, mindset of how to apply um, buffing and boosting to your lifestyle. And then, um, you know, some more uh, detailed information about how to lift, you know, basic uh, information like how to challenge yourself, how much time to take resting in between each set, how to breathe, exhale with exertion, okay, and uh, take control movement. So, and then we get to, uh, on page 87, success tool number eight. Uh, which is a detailed uh, program laid out for you day by day by day what you're supposed to do. And if you're in buffing, it gives you an entire workout laid out for you. So my goal for myself over the next week or so is to do these actual workouts for you so that you can refer to them and see me do them. So that you're not just going, okay, this is what it looks like in the picture. This is, you know, so you can see the video of it. I know video is so great now. And then we also have the same exact thing for boosting on how to do that. So it has a full, complete workout program in here. All you need is a dumbbell and a ball and a chair. Okay, you don't need any fancy, you know, like two, two dumbbells. So maybe a set of maybe 10s right away would be a perfect. Uh, maybe, you know, even if you only have fives or something, you just get started with it. Start learning the moves, start trying to do the workouts, and you can always hit Walmart, get a set of 10-pound dumbbells for like 30 bucks, 
max. I don't even think it'd be that much. They charge by pound typically. And then uh, an exercise ball, you can get those pretty much anywhere for around 10 to $15. And most of us have chairs. So there's really no excuse. You don't need a huge gym. You can store that stuff away in a closet and nobody ever know that you even work out if you don't want them to. Okay, so and then we just, uh, and then I really detail interval training for you. Give you some of the real good reasons why you need to do interval training. Why it's better than just steady cardio. Of course, you know, steady cardio is has benefits, but if you don't have a lot of time to invest in that and after you get to a certain level in your fitness, if you're not adding more time in into that, you don't keep on seeing results. So the great way to uh, increase your intensity and to see more change in your body is to challenge it more with intervals. So you want to try that. So I really laid this out for you. Now, uh, so that's the end of um, foundation number eight, which is a plan of attack and then a step-by-step -step laid out exercise program. Uh, this book has a nine more uh, success tools, actually 10 more, because there's an appendix with an extra special one about hormonal timing sex. So if you have not purchased this book, I would go for it. It's you know worth your weight in gold. Uh, I also offer ebook versions of this, and there's actually an ebook special. So you get this book, my abs book, and a superstar success journal that will bring you through 10 weeks of utilizing this program found in my book. So anyway, check it out. All the information is on buffmother.com. My books are also sold on Amazon. And always know that I'm available to answer any questions. So please email me with any questions. Uh, and uh, also consider joining our Team Buff Mother Rally Room, which is teambuffmother.com. Uh, the information about that is also on buffmother.com. So thank you for listening. Have a super day. Bye.